Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, in previous classes, we have already covered the introduction to uh, our GIS or Geographic Information System. What are the various components through which we can perform these, uh, you know, uh, GIS related different queries uh, and those kind of things. What are the different operations which we can perform? Uh, through various spatial and non-spatial tools, how we can interrelate those uh, things, what are the different kinds of analysis we can go through with the use of these uh, data sets. Okay, so now uh, after studying all those things, we have uh, with us the data exploration. How we can explore different kinds of data sets as far as the GIS is concerned. So if you go back through your, uh, you know, uh, previous uh, lectures in which we have studied the various errors, uh, various tools and techniques through which we can remove those errors, uh, different uh, overlay analysis, different, uh, you know, topographical functions. So if you know, uh, through all these techniques, through spatial or non-spatial, we can explore this GIS data sets. So let's have a discussion about uh, what is this data exploration? If you go through uh, the literal meaning of, uh, you know, uh, data exploration, so it refers to the initial steps where the data analysis, in which the data analysis or analytics uh, use uh, the data visualization and the statistical technique which describe the data set characterizations such as their size, quality, uh, maybe accuracy, in order to better understanding of the data sets. Okay, so while we are talking about the, you know, meaning of this data exploration, so the very initial step is to be uh, familiar with the different analysis which are related to the maybe data visualization in case of GIS, or maybe different kinds of uh, statistical tools, or you can say the non-spatial, uh, uh, you know, operations, uh, which through which we can know about the different characteristics of that particular data. We can know the spatial size of those data sets. What is the quantity and what is the amount of the accuracy? Okay, so that we can understand the data sets, the maps in better way. Okay, so these uh, exploration techniques, they, um, you know, understand, uh, helps us to understand the nature of the data which we are using for any kind of things. Okay, so data exploration techniques, they include both the manual analysis as well as the automated, which is the software data ex exploration solutions. Okay, so we have both the uh, uh, exploration techniques which uh, through which we can explore the data set. We can go for the manual analysis, we can go for the analysis which is based on the different softwares and different tools. Okay, so uh, uh, while we are talking about these, uh, you know, data set which are based on either uh, on the uh, tools which are based on different softwares or which are based on different, uh, you know, um, manual methods. So uh, um, we are, they make us easy to understand the, uh, you know, relationship between different uh, identities, which we are taking into considerations. Uh, or, and uh, uh, we can also uh, know about the structure of the data sets, the presence of the outlines, which are available in different data sets, the distribution of different values in order to reveal the patterns and points of interest of a particular person. Also, it enables the data analyst to gain the greater insight about the raw data. So if we go for any of the technique, whether it is manual or whether it is based on the software uh, based exploration techniques, okay, so they helps us 
in exploring different kinds of you know uh, properties or characteristics of the data sets which may be uh, related to uh, know about the relationship among the different entities okay uh, like you have uh, studied ki through different topological functions we can know about the containment or uh, the relationship between two features in terms of their distance or in terms of their containment okay we can know about the uh, you know structure of the data sets ki what kind of structure a particular data is having also we can know about the patterns of different phenomena okay so whatever the raw, raw data is available with us so different properties uh, we can know about these exploration techniques and we can also uh, you know with the help of these tools we can also understand the raw data in better way so these are the some uh, you know uh, qualities uh, of data exploration through which we can understand the raw data in a better way okay so data is often gathered in you know large unstructured volumes from various sources of data and the data analyst must find first the understanding and the development of comprehensive view of the data before extracting any kind of information related to the further analysis or other uh, you know analysis which we want to perform from that data set so uh, initially when we gather data okay for example we are uh, going to uh, go for a mapping of a forested area okay so uh, in forest we have lots many information so uh, uh, related to the forest related to its uh, types related to its density related to the habitats inside that related to the um, you know road settlements inside it now we will gather all the information okay which will be very large also it will be unstructured whatever information we we, we are getting in the field or on the basis of other data sets we are just collecting it and then based on these uh, exploration techniques or based on the data selection techniques we can uh, later on decide ki what is relevant for the studies uh, how we can make it more uh, you know uh, analytical so that the different stages ki this is the mandatory one this is little bit less uh, mandatory and this is not mandatory so we can exclude that data set that kind of analysis can be done easily okay then comes the different analytical or exploration related tools so we can call them the data exploration tools so i told you that there are two basic tools available uh, while we are going for this data exploration so what are those tools they are manual data exploration methods as well as the software based data analysis method okay so when we are talking about the manual data exploration methods that that means we are entailing either writing scripts to analyze raw data or manually we are filtering the data through different spreadsheets okay so while we are talking about the manual exploration methods we are talking about the you know historical data which we are collecting from the different forest departments since we have taken a here as an example of forest department so the data which are historically available with different departments of forest uh, related to uh, you know uh, the scripts related to the different uh, entities which are maybe entered in the form of spreadsheets so those are the manual datas which are available in either of the form either in the form of uh, scripts or maybe in the form of different kinds of spreadsheets so we collect all those things we put them into a single platform and then we uh, decide ki what has to be uh, you know uh taken for different kinds of uh, operations or uses or what data has to be um, discarded okay then we have the second option that is automated data exploration or software based data exploration tools 
where the data visualization softwares helps the different uh, types of uh, data sci scientists or uh, 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 or for us like we are working on something like for us so based on the different software different modeling techniques we are able to um, you know uh, easily access the data and perform uh, different uh, you know operations on to those data with the help of softwares for example we have collected a satellite image okay of a area then we perform different kinds of operations on those uh, images we do go for rectification of those sheets we go for different models like ndvi for uh, density calculation maybe supervised or unsupervised classification for the different kinds of classes which are available on that topo uh, that uh, satellite image we go for those kind of exploration of different uh, uh, you know tools and techniques which are based on uh, the uh, different data visualization related techniques using some kind of softwares okay then graphical display of data such as uh, uh, you know uh, maps or uh, graphs bar diagram charts scatter plots are valuable tools in case of visual data exploration okay so now whatever outputs you are getting with the help of automated data exploration will be in the form of either maps theek hai na whenever we go for uh, you know digitizing of data sets the end product we have to uh, take out as a we export the data and we get a gpg or pdf okay in the form of map or if you take an example of your uh, you know excel sheets if we go any kind of uh, plus minus addition uh, we also try to plot those data sets in different form of graphical display of these data sets theek hai we we try to uh, go for a different charts bar diagrams or scatter plots through that we can show in a one go that uh, a particular area is having uh, uh, what is the distribution of a particular phenomena in a particular area getting it so then we have a proper tool for manual exploration of data sets as well as we have a uh, proper software for the software related analysis of the different data sets theek hai so then why this data exploration is important okay so because the human process visual data uh, is better than the numerical data okay if we have a book in which we have the you know um, description about the forest types of india okay and on the other hand we have a map or a graph or a uh, pie chart which is showing the distribution of forest types of india okay so what will give you a better uh, uh, you know uh, representation of the forest types of india obviously the map because by seeing that map we can easily say that in the uh, himalayan areas this type of forest is there in the uh, desertic areas this type of forest is there okay which if we want a conclusion we need to study complete book okay so human process of visual data better than the numerical or any other scripted data so therefore it is extremely challenging for data scientists or a uh, different uh, analyst to assign a meaning of thousands of rows and columns of data and points which communicate about different uh, you know uh, points so if we represent those uh, datas in a form of map or in a form of graph so obviously they will give us a better representation of different data sets so data visualization in case of data exploration it leverages the uh, uh, you know uh, familiar visual cue such as different shapes dimensions colors uh, point line features uh, can be or 
that data analyst can effectively visualize and define the metadata and perform the data uh, cleansing okay so in case of the initial step of data exploration it helps the data analysis uh, analyst or different uh, people who are working with different uh, you know data sets so it helps or it enables them to better understand and visually identify the different anomalies and relationship that might otherwise go undetected okay so what is the use of data exploration while we are talking about since we have a large amount of data sets if we represent those data set in the form of rows columns or maybe in a scripted way okay so uh, it may communicate different meanings to different peoples but if we have a, you know a visualization of these data sets in terms of maps in terms of graphs or charts maybe these visual uh, you know uh, 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 this representation of these data sets they are better representatives in terms of their shapes dimensions or uh, the different colors through which we can identify the uh, things in a better way you can take an example of your topographical maps okay they are uh, you know giving you so much of information based on the use of different color symbology which is being uh, you know adopted uh, which has given by the survey of india and then uh, the different uh, you know sim uh, symbols and conventional signs which are very common and easy to uh, predict okay so based on those things it can uh, very effectively uh, you know represent about the different datas and their metadata and they can perform the data representation in better way okay so what we can say if we can say that this data exploration is acts like a you know initial stage where we can better understand and visually identify the different anomalies and relationships uh, between different data sets okay which may be very easy to uh, you know uh, identify if we have uh, these data sets in a you know uh, normal forms in a form of book or in a form of other uh, data stored data sets okay but if it is in the visual format obviously we can go for the better exploration as well as the identification of different characteristics of that data sets okay now uh um, after this uh, uh introductory talk that what is uh, this data exploration what uh, are the different types of the, these data exploration uh we will uh, uh, come to the points that how we can uh, represent these data exploration in terms of the gis platform okay so uh, in case of gis we can go for the different kinds of manipulations where these data explorations can be uh, performed in better way okay so as i told you ki uh, uh, the data exploration is the original data data exploration it allows the uh, different researchers uh, to examine the general trends in the data to take a close look about the uh, different data subsets and the relationship between these data sets okay so in case of gis the data exploration takes an advantage of interactive and dynamically linked visual tools which includes the maps graphs tables displayed in a multiple window and dynamically uh you know linked so that the different records and uh, their tables their graphs can be uh, you know automatically highlighted with the corresponding features okay so in case of data exploration uh, the all the things about a particular feature if you click on a feature uh, and you will get the information 
you can explore the uh, you know characteristics all the characteristics of that feature by just clicking on the either attribute okay that is the non special property or of the digitized map of that area theek okay? hai then uh, through graphs we can show that through bar diagrams we can show that this thing we can also show through the scatter diagrams okay we can also show that in a form of uh, you know curves we can also show these uh, you know maps with the reference to the different populations by showing the different points onto that then we can also show these things in terms of uh, plotting different information on the graph uh, form and then we can also go for the different data manipulations while going for the exploration okay so first comes the map based manipulation okay now what does it mean the maps they are very important while we are talking about any kind of gis operation or data exploration okay so map based data manipulations they generally include the data classification the separations or the spatial aggregations and the map comparison okay so these kind of things can be uh, done during map based data manipulation under the exploration data gis data exploration so here we can go for the uh, you know different kinds of classification of the data we can also go for the aggregation of the data and we can also compare two three or five maps as far as the different changes are concerned in a particular map so first we can go for the map based data manipulation under the data exploration okay so uh, uh, where we can perform the different classifications of the map which may be included if you are talking about the forest type then maybe different forest types can be shown in a map and it can represent the complete area in a better way and suppose if we i want to know that uh, in the area of jaipur what is the forest type in ajmer what is the forest type so i will just click on that district and i will get the information related to the uh, forest type the complete information or um i will select for the uh, jaipur in its non special attribute and i will get the things done we i can also compare these two district how ajmer and maybe jaipur is having a uh, differentiation among their forest type or maybe jaipur or uh, uh, you know jaisalmer what is the variation in the both the uh, you know districts as far as their i can go for the comparison also i can go for the identification of different classes onto the map through the map manipulation techniques then we can also go for the data query i told you in the initial time itself that uh, in we can also go for the attribute data query while we are going for this uh, use of data exploration okay so in data exploration what does it mean the data uh, attribute data query it means that an attribute uh, data query uh, can be done through which we can uh, you know retrieve data uh, subset by working uh, with the attribute data okay so now whatever map we are having i told you in the very if you go through your definition in definition of gis we will be uh, you know understanding that there is a integration between spatial and non spatial data now spatial data is your map data and the attribute data is your tabular data okay so while we are talking about the attribute data query we are talking about this tabular data which is uh, you know created while we are doing mapping 
so after mapping when we want to uh, retrieve data suppose for the, uh, you know ajmer or for uh, some other district of rajasthan we will open the attribute table and we will select that particular uh, you know attribute and we will get the data so here we are talking about the query which we will perform on to the tables which are uh, interlinked with those map data now the selected data subset can be simultaneously examined in the table and the display charts and linked to the highlighted features on the maps okay so while we are querying we can select for that attribute it will be highlighted in the map as well as in the uh, you know table and if suppose we are uh, having some chart we it can be highlighted on all the things you know totality then the selected data subset can also be saved for further processing now whatever we have selected suppose we want to plot that information onto the complete data set we can go for that also by saving the processing okay so the selected data subset can also be represented on the uh, you know on the final output maps whatever we are querying we can also uh, query through the sql in case of gis the sql this is a structured query language uh, uh, where we can go for the you know querying of different things uh, based on the relational database okay so we can put up a command in your rgis and uh, uh, one query related to sql and then we can have a, a data output in a form of uh, you know a se selection of these things we can also import and export and we can join two tables with the help of you know uh, primary and secondary key keys which we have uh, studied while we were uh, doing the non spatial data structure study okay so while we are exploring these data sets we can also go for the interlinking of two three tables in a same uh, way using the sql structured query language uh, we can uh, go for different kinds of analysis okay then we have the query expressions okay we can go for the different kinds of queries which are related to the uh, different uh, you know expressions which you can call the boolean uh, connectors which we have again studied in a uh, case of uh, raster and vector data query okay in while we were doing the analysis part okay so uh, through query expressions we can also explore the different data sets where we can go for the and or not or not functions which we have already studied in um, our uh, you know uh, vector and raster data analysis now there are different types of operations also there which through which we can go for the different exploration related um uh, data exploration related functions now they include the attribute data queries they include the uh, you know spatial data queries now attribute data queries they begin with the complete data sets okay a basic query operation is to select a subset is to select a um, you know a subset of particular area where we can go for the merging of these two subset images where we can remove the uh, you know uh, this thing so these type of operations we can go through okay so we can also go for a split option where we can uh, split a particular uh, you know uh, uh, this attribute into three uh, forms okay so the types of operations may be performed uh, on the subset of are uh, different records we can add more records we can subtract few records we can 
go for the uh, you know uh, a smaller subset of 20 uh, records out of a 50 record so that also for example uh, i'm giving you example again on the basis of forest for example um in rajasthan we have uh, or in um, uh, other states we have uh, 10 12 districts for example i am taking an example of himachal we have 12 districts okay so i want only uh, the information of uh, maybe three districts to have a comparative analysis of, uh, among the climate okay so i have taken one district uh, the uh, you know uh, lahol spiti and one district una okay so there is a change in the climate so from the uh, data which i have stored in the table for 12 districts i will uh, you know subset only two districts data that the kind of you know data manipulation data exploration we can go through with the large amount of data sets getting it so that is based on the type of operation where um uh, uh, either i can go for a subsetting of those things i can also go for the addition of uh, one more district into those uh, two districts which i have subsetted earlier okay i can go for the uh, subtraction of one districts uh, from uh, you know um, uh, the 12 districts of these things so uh, the, that depends on the need of the time okay so based on that we can go for the addition subtraction or uh, further again in uh, addition of few things or maybe subtraction of uh, uh, a smaller unit from a complete state okay so that kind of analysis can also be performed while we are uh, you know uh, talking about these uh, data exploration so uh after that we can also go for the relational database queries where uh you know uh, works with the relational database can be performed a query on the table not only selected data sets in the table but also selects the records of the success on the other tables okay so in case of relational database query we are not talking about the one table but we are talking about the uh, different different tables which we have taken into consideration by linking those tables okay so we can put queries uh, on to the uh, you know tables and we can extract the information as per our need okay so to query a relational database we must be familiar with the overall structure of the database where we uh you know assign keys in a relating tables uh, okay so you 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 have to go through now your um, you know uh, uh this uh, uh, relational database query which we have or a relational database structure which we have studied in uh, your non spatial data interlinking or uh, the non spatial data structure you have studied this relational database okay where we have um, uh, you know had a talk on different uh, you know keys which we use to uh, relate these data sets this primary key the secondary key the foreign keys okay so based on these keys we go for the uh, you know uh, interlinking of these data sets and we go for the extraction subtraction or addition of different relational data sets because one table is uh, linked with other other is an, uh, with some first table so based on what based on the different keys and um, uh, elements we are able to join these things then after the relational database queries we can also go for the spatial data queries okay in case of spatial data queries uh the data uh, which we are processing or retrieving the datas are working on some spatial datas the maps which we have created so here we may select a feature uh using the you know cursor where you are digitizing you have a cursor okay so based on that cursor we can select for any uh, spatial uh, uh, you know feature 
and we can also go for the um, you know analysis which is based on their relationship between one to another feature we can also go for the containment the intersection the proximity the merging the subsetting of different spatial features okay so these all operations you have already studied in your uh, spatial data structure and their analysis functions okay so we can go for the spatial data queries where we can uh, you know based on the clicking of the cursor we can go for the selection of different graphical features or different spatial features and based on the selection of these features we can also go for different kinds of analysis where we can put up a query related to their containments into one another related to their intersection related to their proximity with each other okay then we can also go for the raster data query okay in case of raster data query uh, the cell uh, value and the features we can select okay so you know in case of uh, you know raster data we are talking about the different images okay so in image every feature is having its own reflectance values okay so based on the cell value based on the reflectance value based on the use of interpretation keys and elements we can predict that this feature may be having this feature class okay so um, uh, uh, or we can have a query key if the value is maybe 20 so what this feature is denoting okay so uh, based on that we can go for the identification of the various raster data query related options or data exploration also so uh, i told you ki in general data exploration it helps us in you know ex, uh, uh, identifying the different characteristics or the properties of different uh, data sets okay so if in general we go through the uh you know types of these data exploration it has two basic types but in case of gis okay in case of gis we can perform different kinds of data queries which are related to the different exploration um uh, you know data exploration related activities here we have the queries which are related to the first thing uh, which are related to the measurement related to the measurement queries okay first is the queries which are related to the data manipulation which is based on the spatial data so data based or map based data manipulation is the first thing which we can uh, through which we can explore the different data sets then the second is the data attribute query through data attribute query we can also explore these data sets to sql based queries we can also uh, go for the uh, you know exploration related uh, queries then the uh, third one is the type of operation which we are uh, you know operating on to that Uh, where we can go for the selection where we can go for the splitting of data set addition of something and subtraction of something uh, on the data sets then we can also go for the relational data phase queries while we are uh, going for these exploration techniques i told you how then we can also go for the spatial data query directly where we can analyze different kinds of relationship and through queries whether they are containing intersecting proximating uh, merging what kind of uh, things are there then we can also go for the uh, functions which are related to the raster data query where we are focusing on the different values uh, of the different pixels into the different satellite images aerial photographs so based on that also we can go for the data exploration so with this i i think i have tried to tell you uh, in a very simple way or in a very um, uh, you know um, easy way 
uh, to understand what is data exploration, what are the different types of data uh, exploration, and in GIS platform using different uh, you know spatial and non-spatial data sets, where we have raster and vector data set in terms of your spatial data set and where we have attribute data uh, uh, relational database models sql related models okay so uh, those kind of things are there in your non spatial data sets so how we can go for the different types of queries using this spatial and non spatial data sets for different kinds of data exploration uh, you know uh, operations so with this, I think I have tried to give you the maximum about the data exploration and how we can go for these data exploration techniques using spatial, non-spatial data sets. Uh, still, if you have any queries, you I will, uh, uh, you know, uh, you can go to the, uh, you know, directly onto the Chang's book. There you will get a complete chapter on uh, to data exploration and uh, you can study through that and if you find still any query you can uh, drop me a mail or you can call me directly and uh, with this i'm ending this data exploration chapter here itself and uh, now you all can appear for your quiz through your lms okay thank you